Hello everybody, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. We are um, just in the open world here near Emerald Run Ranch, I believe. Yep, yeah, right there. Uh, we were just exploring last time on the end of the stream. Did a couple of main missions from the Epilogue 1. We went over to the Epilogue 2. And um, then we started doing some... Uh, just some random stuff. Tried to rob a train. We did we did do it, but um wasn't very profitable. It was a cargo train. And yeah, I was expecting a whole lot more from that. Uh, but apparently passenger trains are actually worth the trouble. So uh maybe I'll try that again today. We'll see. Um but yeah, there's a bunch of stuff I wanna do. There is a site mission here for fishing. Not really sure if I want to do that one. I'm not a big fan of the fishing in the game. Or in any game. Not a huge fan of that. Oh, where are some... Uh... Oh my god. For some reason, in the last couple of weeks, I keep losing connection every now and then. Are we good? Can't tell. <laughs> Not sure if we're good now. I believe so. Super annoying. Um, I'm sorry for that. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we're probably gonna do uh, do this side mission here. I've been putting it off for a while now, so um, you know we might as well since we're relatively close. And uh, then we're gonna move on to uh, Sadie Adler there, and we're gonna do some more missions there. So some side stuff, some main mission stuff. Maybe we'll um, maybe we'll finish. The epilogue to here. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. But we'll see. Good to see everybody here in the chat. I already see 15, 16 people watching. 7 likes so far. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you all so much. I see Lunas, Daniel, Solar, uh, Jace Riley. Hello. Uh, Lunas, Solar, Purple Goth Boy. Hello there. Good to see you too. Ara, hello. Good to see you. Good evening. Alrighty. You're, uh... You're watching the stream while in the hospital, Chase? Is that what you're saying? Well, I hope, hope you're doing uh, okay. Hope you'll get better, whatever it is. Alright, well, let's go to, uh, to St. Denis. And, uh, let's do that side mission. While we're relatively close. We might as well. And maybe if I uh, find myself a passenger train, we might go uh, go and try to rob that one. Hey, Craft Joy, good to see you. Hi, Booster. No fuel strip today, right? What do you mean fuel strip? Losing uh, losing one of the horses again? You mean? I mean, I hope not. I hope nothing like that happens today. <laughs> but you never know. I am quite reckless sometimes. You're okay, just some uh, chest pains. Well, chest pains could be uh, could be pretty bad. Could turn out to be something worse, so... Hope you get better. Yes, like that, or John dying this time. Yeah, I hope not. 
I mean, I cannot promise you that because obviously I've never played this, so I don't know what to expect, but uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I hope John gets his family back. Because right now his, uh, his wife and son have uh, disappeared, of course. They've gone away because she wanted the quiet life. So hopefully John will be able to find her again. Make up to it. Make up for it. Now that he has that new house and stuff. Tulip 2.0. Well, if we are going to name a new one, it will probably be Windmill 2.0. Because that's the first uh, first of the horses that we named. Windmill. We first had Windmill, and Tulip, and then Stroopwafel. Hey there. That was easy. <laughs> Alright, so they killed these folk. And uh, now I can take all the loot from them. Nice. Very, very good. Come on. Uh-oh. Hello there. Their friends were nearby, apparently. Arthur's dead, uh, death made you sad because of Dutch betrayal. Well, it was more Micah's betrayal than anything. Dutch just, you know, he fell for it. But yeah, the fact that Dutch didn't help us in the final moment, that was, uh... Yeah, that was pretty bad. That was pretty, pretty bad. Oh, Eden Sage immediately? I went meant to pick it up. <laughs> pick up that stuff. There we go. Or anything else fancy back here? Um doesn't look like it. No. Don't see any special crates. Alright then. Let's go. Let's continue. On towards Saint Denis. That's where we're heading. How you doing there, Ben? Hope you're doing good. Is that John Wayne on the horse booster? <laughs> no, it's uh, John Marston. <laughs> I cannot believe that we still haven't found a single panther in the game. We, fi we finally found a bunch of cougars that have kept attacking us, but... I have yet to find a panther. Not a single one has attacked me. So many gators. Is that a passenger train? No, that's cargo, right? Or is this passenger? No, that's passenger train. Alright. Alright, let's do this.
Oh shit. Gonna have to wait. Go around, go around, go around. Come on, go, 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 go. Jump. All right, go, 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 go. Stop the damn train. There we go. Another one down here. There we go, good. Uh oh. There's police. Got him. Please give me all your money. It. Smart move would be to give me all your okay, money. Okay, take it. Very good. Ten dollar, appreciate it. Save me. Come on. Oh my goodness. Hey there, Bloxy Clovis. Give me your money right now. Here, Hurry it up a little. All right, good. Next one. Your money, your money right it. now. now. Okay. Take it. You too. Of course, take anything. Just all right, hurry. good. Give hurry it up. Okay, okay. This is all, I have. all right, good, good, good. Keep it up, folks. that it? No more passengers? Alright, steal whatever I can. Our bounty is like super high right now. I don't think this has been worth it. Don't think this has been worth it. We got a bunch of money, but not enough. I guess shooting officers doesn't help. Shooting, shooting policemen. Keep killing them. go oh nice i didn't know that would actually work i thought we were gonna fall on the ground oh whose grave is that so how would you properly get away with something like that I mean, I have a I have a mask, but I don't think that's working much. Still following me. Now we're good. Now. 
All right, let's do a flat cap instead. Stop wearing that. Stop wearing that. Cowboy outfit, custom outfit. There we go. Your bounty is still high. But it shouldn't be able to recognize me now. Don't think so anyway. And now I should be able to go back to the train if it's still there. And rob the rest of us. Also, I want to find out whose grave that was. What was that grave right here? What does that say? In memory of worker one nine six twenty six. <laughs> okay, so people working on the railroad, I guess. I'm assuming it's people working on the railroad or something. With all the alligator attacks and stuff like that. Right? Oh my god. Good to see everybody. Thanks for joining in that uh in that train raid right there. Well, that's pretty cool. Boozer needs it more than you all. Yeah, exactly. But I still don't see the point of robbing the trains, to be honest. Because your bounty is just going to be way higher than any money you get from it. I feel like it's a waste of time. Yeah, now we can just uh, chill, go back, and search everything. Might be able to get some more money out of it. Uh, repeater. It's worthless. Pistol cartridges. Nice. Health cure. That's always good. There's the cabinets. Yeah, let's get to see ya. And Doughboy, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, anything here? Right, there we go. Fine brandy. Can we not pick that up? Whatever that is. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, the train isn't a good source of money. Well, that is strange, because it should be, right? And the fact that the police shows up so quickly is just kind of insane. You just ca you literally cannot get away with robbing a train. You just can't impossible they show up seconds after you start robbing the place Is that worth anything are the people still here doubt it right yeah all the people are gone might still be something left here robbing them when uh, when they're in the tunnel yeah, that should be a good idea. But they can still get to you. This is safe. Can we open that up? 
No? That's very unfortunate. Oh, wait, we can open this. I found the location we did yesterday quite good. I mean, the police still showed up, but they couldn't get to me. They couldn't shoot me or anything like that. At the, uh, at the big bridge. That was a good one. Dynamite. Can we open that up with dynamite? Oh, really? Run, 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 run. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, there we go. Now it's worth it. $14. Okay. What is this? 25 Well, uh, it's still a little short on money. Money clip. $13. 25 Ah, that's it. Hmm. Well, at least I got a bunch more money from that. Um, doesn't really make it more worth my while. But maybe there's... Oh yeah, there's another one back here. And uh, open it up again with some dynamite. Premium cigarettes. I can't pick it up. Should have sold everything beforehand. But it actually seems to be a pretty good idea to, um, <clears throat> to shoot to shoot the driver, then GTFO, come back when the police isn't there, and um, then just search the place. Because they don't get a bounty for robbing anyone or shooting any of the employees because they probably left right oh did that not work oh we can't oh it did work but we cannot see it for some reason pocket watch i cannot interact with it Unfortunately. He doesn't show opened up. Oh, well, that's fine. Can I pick up the pocket watch too full? Another chest. How much money do I have? 500 right now. I don't remember how much money I started it off with. I probably should have, um... Probably should have checked that first. How much money I started with today. <laughs> Can we sell the train? No? Yeah, that would be crazy. There we go. That's so awesome that you can jump on the horse like that. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Alright, towards uh, Saint Denis we go. Oh. Well, have fun with that. Any gold bars? Yeah, gold bars probably do the trick. Give us a bunch more money. Wait, let's just follow the railroad. That's faster. I just wanted to have some extra money, you know. Ooh, it's dark. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. 
Here, train. Cargo. Yeah, I got one treasure map. Got a tre treasure map from one of the NPCs, but... Not sure where to look for it. If I'll find the image somewhere in the world, then I'll, uh, I'll take a closer look at it. But I'm not going to actively search for it. Plus, we're probably on the end of the game. Only a couple of missions left. So there's not really a point, I feel like. We got all the guns that we need. Don't think there's any special guns I need to buy. The only thing we would need to buy is... Uh, maybe a new horse or something. Come on. Come on. Which one is it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know which one it's called. We got it near Valentine. Alright, let's go to the Frenchman. Oh, or to this lady, I guess. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, this is the Frenchman. Ah. The okay, what are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. Uh, <laughs> that is it is. I don't think art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave. Go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint-Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Yeah, so long as they weren't just telling you that to get you to the other side of the world. <laughs> Perhaps it doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. All right, let's help him out. You know, I think you knew a friend of mine. You might have even given him some of your work. Arthur Morgan? Yes, yes, I know a lot of people, but please, just help me get out of here. I'll tell you what I won't miss. Civilization. Now we're here. Right? Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. A man owes us money. Hey. We go through here. Uh oh. What's this? Quickly! Oh, it's nothing. I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. <laughs> Get moved. Come on. Hello. So wait. You ain't sold none of your work? There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but no kinds of failures. 
Pretty lady. Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. This way, to the end of the docks. I was going to buy the red one to bring out the colors in the cheeks, but then I thought. Hush, Kate. I may know these people. But maybe something gayer. A purple, perhaps? We are in Saint Denis, after all. What are you looking at? Bar shitting, money borrowing, wife stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed a feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse during what? Who's my impropriety? Yeah, bearded lady. Mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth. Dirty truth. It's the Frenchman we helped a couple of times as offer. Hello, boys. Come on. <laughs> Oh, rude. Well, I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. <laughs> Good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. All right, got you safe and sound over here. Hey, rude. You are weak. I am not so weak. Got him. That wasn't too bad. Charles. Salute him. I hope this ship's leaving soon. Ah, merci, merci. All above the South Pacific. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. Adieu. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. <laughs> ah, yes, I hear there the light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> Crazy. Wait. Uh oh. What did I do? Oh, geez, my stamina is low. Oh, oh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. <laughs> How? Why can he not swim properly? Oh, my stamina was too low, man. That was bad. Lost $26 to that? Wow, what a wonderful mission that was. That was so not worth it. Alright, we got another mission here now. From the from the mayor. Mistakes were made. Yeah, definitely. He can't swim. I mean, he can swim, but not if his stamina is too low, apparently. Okay, Missy. If his stamina is too low, he has some uh, trouble with that. Unfortunately.
There we go. Alright, let's go visit the mayor then. Let's see what he wants from us. John can't swim. Wait, not at all. I thought he could. Alfred could swim. As long as he had the stamina. Till I can trust you. Hello there, Mr. Mayor. Am I supposed to do this mission if I am not allowed inside? Go around the back. Hello? FBI, open up! <clears throat> yes? Sorry. I'm... I've got this letter. Sent to an old friend of mine, Mr. Tacitus Kilgore. Now, he ain't with us no more, but I thought maybe I would be of assistance instead. Well, well, well. Let me see if the mayor has any use for you. Follow me, please, Mr. Um, what was it? Oh, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Peter Lawson. Monsieur Le Mieux? Come in. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Uh, John Marston. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rub me like your friend, are you? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people who want to speak to you, Mr. Marston. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? Oh, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing? Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. Oh, I suppose I could do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, mm. a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. Old stuff. And how do you oh. buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Oof. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these yeah, are I know. paintings. I got this mission as offer before. And I'm French. Only this even nasty Just never did it. man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings. And he's saying that they're all fake. So... So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Yeah, exactly. Now, Jean-Marc. Perhaps you can take Mr. Marston, John Marston, to meet little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. <laughs> Saint Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. All right. Au revoir. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Sir, the professor will not be here for long. Believe me, friend. You ain't seen Beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. <laughs> Luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have true liberal democracy. Working for the rich and the poor alike. The gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. John. There. Whoa. 
What's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. Shiftaker. Let's talk to Professor Shiftaker then. Oh wait, I need to follow him. Oh. I read that uh, too late. Let's try it again. <laughs> What's his name again? Officer Shiftaker. Mm. Now we gotta approach him. Professor, excuse me. Ah, oh. hello. The mayor asked me to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that is a big claim. One that might upset some people, myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. It gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you? Oh, oh wait, wait. I gotta punch you to change your mind? I, I couldn't. My reputation. <laughs> oh, God. How's that reputation looking now? I'd never be published again! Maybe I'll just kill you. Make this all go away. <laughs> I relent! I relent! There. You see, Professor, an academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Y yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. And the thing is, now people are going to see these paintings and love them. So you really are helping people. I... No, I'm right, Professor. Please, don't make me upset with you again. No, 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 no sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you'll send the mayor what he needs. Uh... Because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course we I'll don't. i my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. Very good. All right, let's return. We did our job. Oh, there he is. Morning, friend. So, turns out, those pictures are all real after all. Ah, Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? Uh, not initially, but we got there in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done a lot worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's hoping. Yeah, the mayor asked me to give you this. Thank you. Ooh, got some money. Hopefully it's a lot. How much we get? Fifteen dollar? Uh, I mean, it's okay, I guess. Alright, let's find our horse again. All the way back there. Come on, girl. Come on. I'm almost all the way back. <laughs> There we go. Alrighty. Yep, let's put back our uh, our hat on. Obviously we couldn't do that. Let's do um let's do the flat cap. Kinda like that one too. 
And maybe let's switch to cowboy. Is that much different? I think it's exactly the same, isn't it? Oh no, it's wearing the gloves as well. Okay. I guess we don't really have a lot of cloven with uh, with this guy. How expensive would that be? There's a shop right here. Um, where's the entrance? This one. Hello there, good sir. Ah. Fine cloven store, I see. Now, let me just look in here. Let's see, what do we get? Saint Denis. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all. All super terrible. Don't like any of it. Apparently, this new century is bringing all kinds of changes. Oh, all right, goodbye, sir. Have a wonderful day. Out of the way. Alrighty. Well, that was all the missions uh, here in uh, Saint Denis. So let's get out of this town. Let's get out of. And let's go all the way to Blackwater. Let's do that mission with Sadie Adler. And probably fast travel there. I was gonna go between them. <laughs> oh my god. Why so aggressive, sir? There's no need for that. Oh my god. There's no reason to be so aggressive with me, sir. But we're all gentlemen. Oh my, he's still following me. Come on. Hurry up. Okay, okay. Speed it up, speed it up. Come on. This horse is not super fast. But I think we're good now. I think we're fine. Yep. We're all good. Should probably try to fast travel back as it's quite far away all the way to black water let's get on the other side oh f get down <laughs> not again <laughs> not again let's go girl Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Why do these trains want to kill me so much? What do you have against me? Oh boy. That's a trap. Okay, well, now that we're on land... I mean, we might as well do this. Um, can we place a campfire down here? No? Cannot create it when activity is nearby. Oh, what does that mean? Probably the guy on a tree there. Well, let's get away from there then. 
get to the other side here. There we go. And let's try it again. Still can't do it. Activity nearby. Well, that ain't fair. How would we legitimately go away? Is this roads? Ah, it is roads. Awesome. All right, that's good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Then we can just, uh, there we go. And we can just fast travel. Made a bounty first. All oh, right, we cannot fast travel there. We haven't. Ah. Got about that. What about the train? Can we take the train? Hey there, Alden. Take a tra train ticket. Uh, where will we go? Rick Station. Uh, Valentine Wallace Station. I know what Wallace Station is. I know where that is. I know Riggs is pretty close. Let's go to Riggs. Riggs, I believe, is the one where the um, where the trapper is. So close to Blackwater. So it should be fine. Would be cool if we could um, rob this train while fast traveling. <laughs> That'll be easy. Yeah, I really have the worst luck of trains, especially the last couple of episodes. All right, we're here. Oh, it looks like we went the long way around. Train comes from the other direction. Now I could rob these people real quick. Oh heck yeah! Give me your money. Friends. Give me your money. Give me your money. Right, it's yours. Pay up now. Yeah, just take it. Real good, real good. No Sir, give me your money. money. All right, all right. Don't be this is all I've got. What the hell? What the hell? All right, let's go. Time to move out. It won't catch me alive. Perfect. Crime reported. Well, good luck with that. We're already gone. Wanted John Marson. Wait, what? They found me? How did they find me? I wasn't even in the area. Oh. Heck. Alright, lose him. Go, 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 go. Come on. Don't stand still. Don't stand still. Into black water we go. There we go. We lost them. 
Yeah, that was good. How did they find out I was me, though? I mean, I, I literally just took off my disguise as soon as that happened. So maybe I should have had my disguise on for a longer period of time. Maybe that was the problem. I just took it off. Oh, well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are they still looking for me? Oh, snap. That might be. That's a problem. There's bounty hunters. Oh, it wasn't the law enforcement. Oh man, they're all over this town. You can get on top of this. That's pretty cool. Can we get inside from here? Doesn't look like it. What's the point of this? Something hidden? Underneath this? No. I guess just trying to evade someone. This might help. Oh, jeez. Bounty hunter right there. Oh, no, that's a law. Wait. How are we going? No, no, that is law enforcement. That's not a bounty hunter. Doesn't look like it, anyway. All right, quickly go into the mission. Hey there, Sadie. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John, come sit down. Sure. You uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. <laughs> and which are you, exactly? Me? Last one. My time. All three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? You ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murderer, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We gotta ride ahead. South. Of course we do. <clears throat> Alright, Sadie. Show me the way. We're going south. 
Haven't been south of Blackwater, so that will be interesting. Let's go, Sandy. Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. Yeah, it's a special kind of horse. A ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or Ooh. gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail. Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You er want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is going to be good for him. I always lie, Charles. You send it my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, they weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out. For who he truly was. We were fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But not now. Come on. And that's pretty. <clears throat> when the rain stops. Hello there, Nizir. Good to see you. State troopers? Correct again. Though the given back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. <laughs> Where are we? We are. Oh, yeah, that's far away from Blackwater. The border of the map. Looks like. Haven't been here yet. Cool. Pretty game. Oh, wow. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Jeez. Heck yeah, it's a view. Let's go take a look down in the valley. 
This is a wonderful place. Use binoculars or a weapon scope to survey the armadillo. Well, let's uh, make sure we got all our weapons. Why do we start with the leech field repeater? I don't even like that one. I want the Lancaster repeater. That's what I want. James Langton. The other fellows just work for him. Where are you? are Come on. Let's go follow him. All right, let's go. All right, girl. Come on, Sadie, hurry up. You're the one who's got to hurry up, Sadie. I'm already on uh, on the back of the horse. I'm waiting on you, girl. Let's go. Looks like they're coming through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Come on, hurry up. Are they? Whoa. Oh, whoa. oh yeah, there they are. There they are. We follow and keep an eye on them. Get all the way to the end. You won't get north through here. What are you doing, huh? You you're talking to me or like Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. <laughs> My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. Alrighty. When riding, uh, when, when following somebody in a mission like this, they kind of force your horse to ride in a certain path, which is annoying when having to evade the rocks like that. Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. All right, lady. Where? What are they waiting for? Oh. The rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <laughs> Great. All right, so what you think? Gonna uh, shoot him? Threaten him? Start shooting at him or sneak down and pick him off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Oh, come hmm. What we doing? Let's um, let's just uh, shoot the gang. Let's just start shooting. Maybe they'll all run off. Yeah, they'll scatter right away. I'm going over here. Okay. All right, let's start. Yeah, sure did.
What's she shooting at now? Oh. Oh, jeez. Come on. That's fine, Sadie. We'll be fine. I know, Sadie. I know. We'll be fine, don't you worry about it. Hey, the drunken, drunken dragon, good to see ya. Get him. Are you with her? What's it look like? Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go for a run. You're a good girl now. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Oh. Let's go, Sadie. Nice shot. Hey, don't shoot me. This man everywhere. This man everywhere. They're all over. Give up, you fool. We're riding in on the left. Look where you're going. Ah, nice. She told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. Hit him. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. <laughs> I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How'd it work ain't easy, John? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. Oh, Sadie, <laughs> that's you know true. I'm a rancher now. 
mostly. Wow! And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hey, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Oh, here we are. Grab him and bring him in, Joan. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Hello there, officer. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I thought this was it. Just put him on the bed. Bastard! There he goes. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh. And James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent Seems like they don't care. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> uh. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's... John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Bye, Sadie. Two hundred dollar. Ooh, baby. That's a good amount of money right there. Oh, we're, back, we're all the way back, oh, back in Blackwater. Albert Cakes. All right, let's go talk to that guy. Whoever that is. Albert Cakes. Now I want to eat cake. All right, where's this? Right over here. Where's this place? Oh, we had to go here for our construction materials, I think, for the new house. Excuse me, sir. Ah, yeah. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. Okay. <laughs> joking, I'm joking. Well, wow, good joke. Friend. I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Which house do you want? Ooh. Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. Unique pre-cut. Okay, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. Oh, can I not choose myself? Credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? 
The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. We need to shave John a little. John needs to shave. He has a mighty beard. A little bit too mighty. Concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. <laughs> not much, I guess. Of course not. No. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns behind, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Uh, not me. Take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable instead of pre cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait. Look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before. And maybe I can handle a weapon, but I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Hey, you gonna continue? People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker now Niels he's an acquired taste but boy can he work metal Norwegian you see Viking blood Fellas Viking blood to worship a god with a hammer guess I figures they'd still be making them I'm not sure how much English he speaks but Niels Ooh, nice place this is the spot just up ahead oh this place looks awesome I love this. You boys wait here. After you, Miss Will. Yeah, this place is really cool looking. Like I said, Nils is a an acquired taste. Let me do the talking. Smart. Uh, there he is. Grass Working on the houses. Away. The man all all uh uh, what's the word? It's combining his life with nature or whatever. I don't know. Nils. <laughs> Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. Okay. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. Okay. 
So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's <laughs> get moving. Man, they really did him dirty. Only saying okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right then. Features hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Yeah, eco home. Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. I guess. I in it, I oh. What the heck? My goodness. You alive? No. Mr. Devin, you okay? Random attack. That's the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grab Mr. Wayne. All right. You stay here. Guard the wagon. Charles, come on. Shit. Where? Oh, back there. And see those. Oh my God, how many are there? Oh, he's gone. 
gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. We're gonna find more of them. God damn it. A few minutes ago he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinners. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are crazy. So many. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody too. Is he? Is it bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them! Uh huh. Thought he had yeah. I thought he had a knife in his head. Place of tools in the wagon, all right. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, my lord, what they do to us? Nothing nice. Make sure we're ready for another fight. All right, let's go. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beach. Just a flash wound. <laughs> nah, he dead. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this. This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the Oh, fun. right next to our home, too. Fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. And I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back. Massacre. Uncle! 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 I was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Mm -hmm. oh, I will. I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. Yeah, the three of us can do anything. We shoot a whole lot better than all those other folks. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Now we get to craft our house. Bank loan received. We received more money for the bank, for the for the house. I don't see it anywhere, but whatever. Let's go here. Go to Uncle. Start building the house. Hello there, Does sir. Make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Yeah. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation. 
Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six-foot-deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. <laughs> oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. All right, let's start. Hey there, Mr. Kingbo. Oh, shit. I actually have to do something. Got copyright. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail. Last live stream was fine, by the way. Didn't expect that. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. Build a little and house together. The rain, the ice cold wind whenever. No matter what the weather. We're together. Ooh, a nice foundation. Oh, God. You need to use the lumbago excuse more often. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Oh nice. Up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Starting to look real nice. Well we work so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever. No matter. It's a lot of left clicking with the hammer. We're together. <laughs> oh yeah. Starting to take shape. them to come and uh, build your shed. That's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> That's and a fine I'm home. Pretty big. Happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> Time to start writing her a letter, then. Hopefully she'll come back. My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, 
And I'm sure I shall die a fool. No, it's only took a day. <laughs> but I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. It looks like it only took a day, I yeah. Something very silly. But probably uh, like a week or two of free. That is, when passed. I purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours. And we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank. And while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Ah, the feels. Hopefully she'll come back. That's a fine home. That's a real fine home. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Uncle, where are you at? Oh, it looks like they're starting to farm. Doesn't look like very fertile land. Yet. Uncle's up there. Let's see what he's doing. Ah, in the shade. And that's beautiful looking. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in <laughs> reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two penny slave driver that <sighs> comes along and Hastens your journey into the grave. <laughs> this is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. <clears throat> we don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come <laughs> on. I'll deal with it. It's so him. easy. What do you think? Seventeen eighty-five. Then I never was that fast. Yeah, it's only one hundred years later. In the black water. Eighteen eighty-five. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, that's right to the lumber yard. Just wait right there for me. So like I was talking about doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse and I'm gonna rob him blind <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard I'd think exactly the same thing thinking about it huh. I might actually do this on my own oh I can't let you do that John let you get robbed again <laughs> oh no you need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? 
with your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Whoa! What, what does a guy need furniture for? Oh, where are we going? Were we not following the road? Where's where we needed to be? <laughs> I guess not. There we go. <clears throat> Just up ahead. Hey there, 91 leads. Good to see you. Mr. Lumber Salesman, where are you? And how are we? How's little Emily? 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 Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, um, how are you? <laughs> we need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. <laughs> How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but this man is very annoying. Can you true. Just give me a few days? Of course. <clears throat> I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I, John, Sadie! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I, you got any work? kind of desperate work hmm how desperate I need money a bunch of money my debts climbing and I... you up for a fight is it legal oh, that's very legal but it's also pretty dangerous With that's you, fine it'll be fine but I wouldn't do it on my own I ain't got much choice all right then come on look after him Sadie he's a delicate flower underneath <laughs> Tell the bank there's money coming in and get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on Let's go, Sadie. Party. We can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Do I know the place? Painted Sky? Where the heck is that? Never even heard of it. <laughs> oh man, it's far away. Oh, that's not too bad. Only over there. Basically where we uh, started our adventure near a horseshoe overlook right there That's not too bad We'll just follow the road Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property couldn't find the rancher But saw a Mexican looking feller hanging around Say are you coming? Sadie, what are you doing? <laughs> Sadie, what are you doing? Come back here. Morning. No more now, okay? <laughs> what the heck is she doing? You was gonna say... Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. All right, let's go, Sadie. Sadie, hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. 
He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexican? Any faster way? Oh yeah, we can cut through there. Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We yeah, I say these whores seems to be like I wish we'd done better. Purple-ish or whatever. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, uh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. <laughs> it's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we're almost there. Let's go, Sadie. I'll race you. Oh, jeez. What well, am I doing? Take it easy. I should be getting close. It's right here. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. All right, let's see what's up here. Wait, why did it not save my guns? Hate when it doesn't do that. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. All right, I'll take the barn. FBI, open up. Uh, I mean, FBI. We've come for you. Oh, jeez. Oh, snap. You got him? I sure do. I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Oh. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Pretty far away. 
back hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. And luckily I didn't have to ride there all the way. This place still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Right. What a girl you Bring Cortez around the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever Ooh. one of you sets me free. I'm afraid 2000s. it's been late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are going to ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Ooh. Help me guard him till my boys... This mission is going to take a little longer, I think. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> well, somebody's gonna try and break him free. What are we still waiting for? Oh, oh hell. Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Here we go. Let him have it, boys. All right, let's have him. Let's have him have it. Was the version jail. The jail. They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Can't have gone now far. What's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. One hundred. Done. Ah. Let's go, Jim Milton. At least we're getting extra money out of it. <clears throat> Come on. All right. Well, let's first rob these fools. See if we can get some ammo back or something like that. 
Plenty of corpses on the street. This town is real empty. All right, and one last one. There we go. That'll be enough. Okay, Missy. Where are we gonna find him? Put my hat back on. Dewberry Creek. Dark, huh? Looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck. Bounty's being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. <laughs> he got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. <sighs> One of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, guess we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez, we're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, dog, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with the price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. <laughs> if the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Yeah, there's a prize on my hat right now. <laughs> Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Yep. Go up there. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. <laughs> I like Sadie. Sadie's awesome. Thank <laughs> you. 
Coming down. My goodness. accidentally killed a guy that's not good I thought it was just someone uh, just someone random oh well oh we have two bold actions now Damn it. I don't like it when they force you to use a gun I'd rather use my own Let's go. Came at the boat and capture him alive. How? You want to die right now, Cortez? <laughs> I'm going to die anyway. So you really want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court. Get over here. All right, all right, amigo. I'm coming. Try anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. All right, we got him. There's more of them coming. Hey, estoy aquí. Shut your gut mouth. Man, la gente has to be lucky, eh? My goodness. I think we're good. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy. Let's first loot him for once. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Got about that. Tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. All right, put him on Sadie's uh, horseback. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time luck. 
What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. You are a dead man. The De Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. And we will kill you. You and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you were just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Yeah, we're almost there. Almost back in jail. I mean, jail was blown up. So hopefully he has a second one. <laughs> Any more folks? Got to worry about. Here we are. Back again. Looks like. All right. Ah. This carriage is already waiting for him. Very nice. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. Better glass guy, Jack. We got him, Sheriff. We well, got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <sighs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> you better pay us. Thanks for this, John. Will you send my money to the bank for me? Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old Rove. If you say so. See you around, partner. Well, this is different. I mean, this is putting criminals behind bars. For letting them get hanged, I guess. <laughs> Not stealing nothing. Ooh, look at the barn. Oh my goodness. Or hitch the horse right there. And let's go and talk to uncle. Let's take a look inside the home. We haven't even done that yet. Let's take a look inside. Look at how nice it is. Yeah, send a criminal to catch one. Ooh, it's dark. Alright, nice, I guess. <laughs> There ain't much yet. Oh, we have a wash tub. Awesome. Can we shave? Uh, 
change weapons. Ba, ba, ba. Doesn't look like we can shave anywhere. Maybe somewhere else. Got a room back here. Gonna be the kitchen. Looks like. Oh, we have an upstairs too. This is my room. Oh, yeah. Ah, we can use this to fast travel. Nice. The chest. Yeah, nowhere to shave, it seems. Let's see, what was up there? Uh, this must be where uncle is. <laughs> or maybe Charles. I doubt if uncle can even get up there. Alrighty then. Let's get outside. Let's go to uncle. Are we missing Arthur yet? Yeah. I, d I do miss Arthur. I felt a lot, lot more connected to Offer than I do to, uh, to John. Yes. Nice little barn. How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. The house? The barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four tack to cat head. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest <laughs> rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives? What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives? And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine! Let me sleep! Get out here now! Alright. <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? My guess is they went that way, but my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. Hmm. Let's go. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is the prequel of Red Dead Redemption 1. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. I thought it was a sequel. Nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. Do you see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards the tall trees. Come on. Yeah. John, look. We should agree on something. 
If it's really bad, this might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Switch to express bullets. Got plenty of those. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. <laughs> what happened there? Why did he fall off? To the trees. Come on. I read that one is about John's story after this. I thought one was was the story of uh, Arthur and stuff before there, to the right. Before Stay all of the Blackwater bit out. business. Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Control to our left. Shh. Let him go. Now we'll let him go. For now. Hold it. Easy. Easy. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. That uncle? Wagon. There. It's dragging someone. Is it uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. It might lead us to the camp. <laughs> Keep on it. You see, he's picking up the poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Take him, John. Ah, okay, there you go. Let's Terrible with the bow in this game. Usually I'm pretty good at it in games, but 
Not on this one. I think I see something. Make sure we eat. Uh-huh. Try to improve that eye some more. Nope, oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. Uh, hang in there, old man. This boulder? Through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. Oh. My God. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Behind us. Charles! Alright, kids! The surprise is over! We're here for you! All of you! Get us, come in! John, get down here! Very good. Okay, we've got some time. Let's get Uncle. Oh my goodness. You're okay, old man. Looks like he's all right. You look awful. You'll be okay. I mean, his back is burned a little bit. Like a lot. Looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry it. Oh shit. Got him. Cause here come the rest of them. Quick. There's more of them. I'll cover you. Come on. Down that gully. Come on, come on, come on. Shoot, 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 shoot. All right, let's go.
My even warmer home are not far away. back home nice does it look okay you don't know why i do first luke in the title well because it is my first luke in the game i've never played this game these missions so first luke thank you boys don't mention it usually i only do it for the first episode but man and i really think you're dying it's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Yeah. Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? Yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? You, your family, we all be safe. I hope so. Really do. If she ever comes back. We can only hope, John. Wait, we got some animals now, too? Didn't see us buying any animals. Except for the horses, I guess. Get home owner owner's insurance in case they torch the place, yeah. Probably a good idea. Who's that? Somebody working for us? <gasps> There they are. With a doggo. You, Cute little doggo. You're... I... You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so we reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Cool. They came back. Finally came back. What do we got here? Chicken coop or something? Oh. Chicken coop with no chickens. Bring the f feed sacks uh, over to feed the chickens. We ain't got no chickens. There's no chickens in here. What's 
Maybe they're walking around somewhere. I ain't seeing them. Yo, look at that. We got a cow. I thought he didn't want to have cows. <clears throat> and these are whores, of course. Oh, look at that. Starting to actually plant stuff. <laughs> to keep the stones on it. That's probably not a good idea. They don't care about the stones. What's this? Use the water pump. Yeah, John needs to shave. He couldn't find a place to shave in, uh, in our house. Honor and character attributes can be increased by partaking in daily chores around the ranch. Yeah, where we're bringing the water. Put some extra water in here. Seems quite empty. There's only one cow. There's supposed to be chicken somewhere, but I don't see him. Get the pitchfork. Oh my goodness. What a fun. <laughs> Jeez. Come on. A little hard sometimes. Interact with the stuff. Yeah, it's farming sim now. That's right. Alright, some more honor. The cow can now be milked. Oh, heck yeah. Do some cow milking. How do we... There we go. There we go. That was quick. Come back later to milk another bucket. It's kind of, it's kind of frustrating to me that we don't have to bring the bucket anywhere. Now, where's the feed? Yeah, I want to get feed, but I don't know where it's supposed to be. Oh. <laughs> Not sure where the feed is located. Hey, Bale. Move the hay to the feeding points. Oh, I guess this is... Wait, this is not what chickens eat though, right? Hey there, Bloxy. Nah, this ain't for the chickens. Put it in here? Question mark? No? A little further? Put 
put it here. Oh, yeah. Heard about GTA 6 leak? Yeah, I heard about it. Nah, I'm not very hyped about it. I don't really care much about GTA anymore. The only the only good GTA game what I played was uh, San Andreas like a long time ago on Play PlayStation 2. All the other I haven't really played a lot of other ones. Or at least I haven't bought any other ones myself for a long time. I played one of a friend back in uh, high school, like a four, no, three or four. I don't even know. Wasn't super excited about that one either. Didn't enjoy it much. And I played GTA Five a little bit, but I don't know. Not super excited about those kind of games anymore. I mean, I guess in a way this is kind of similar. But it's not... Um, it, it, I don't know, it's different. I enjoyed this one a lot more than I would GTA. Especially if it's just gonna be uh, pay to win kind of stuff, like paying paying real money for guns or anything like that. Oh wait, now we can feed the chickens. Um, ah, now there's a bag. Some feed. We ain't got no chickens, though. Come on, chickens. Where are you? You now bring the eggs crate to the wagon. I'm really annoyed by the fact that there's no chickens walking around. <laughs> there's a crate of eggs. Oh, these ones. Alright. And bring it to the wagon. That wagon. Mm -hmm. Heard you play a woman and a man in GTA 6. Could be. I think I saw a clip of uh, of a woman on Twitter. But I haven't really looked into it because I don't care much. And I feel like anything that that's leaked right now isn't probably any good anyway. Like it doesn't represent the game and its final product properly. So, probably not even worth looking it up, to be honest. Alright, let's go to, uh, let's go inside. Go talk to Allison. I'm so still more happy? excited about God of War so. Ragnarok. And I did good? You did good. So... Am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. Ah, you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm... Sorry, I you thought I... You look well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> Almost the whole family is back. <laughs> You, darling. Don't Almost. Arm to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. 
I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. <laughs> He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Oh. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money. How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family. Bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business, you know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Or the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Well, that ain't, uh... <laughs> that wasn't going well. You want to work? Let's do it. Could have gone worse, but... You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. No. Abigail's back. Got some buffering. Boy, he must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was. It was Arthur's. Found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her at least. Oh my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I I think I know I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already. Long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. Yeah, I kind of thought that they were married already, too. I mean, not being married in um, in this time period and having a kid is kind of frowned upon. came through here hmm. the fella left in quite a hurry here hmm oh he was from the south whoever he is then maybe he's our man 
In here, seriously? Here come some bears and lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. Come on. They ain't here. Yeah, I'm coming, Sadie. That way, I'd say. Great. Sure, we got our guns ready. Damn it! I lost the trail. Can you see which way he might have gone? That okay. way. I think I got it. Follow me. All righty. Leech, you want to have? Uh, yeah. You're excited for breakwaters. Raft or Lance Island? Juran console. I know that breakwaters will definitely be coming to uh be coming to console at some point. I know that Soaring was hoping to bring it this year. Not sure uh if that's still the planning. It's still doable, but I know he's planning on it. PlayStation 5 and uh, the Xbox next gen. My God. Crap. Oh, he did. Oh boy. That our fella? Maybe. Oh Jesus. Well, looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. Two shoes. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! Oh Jesus! That's a nasty bear. Oh God! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Whoa. I think he's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out of here! Before I come in there, kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Well, call yourself a man. Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. <sighs> Just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. A family man and all. Seeing all this, uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. 
Yeah. I spend my cash on. Uh oh. Is that? Are you Sadie Adler, man? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally. Shoot! My goodness, aggressive. Business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of <laughs> Yeah, you're right. His legs aren't even tied properly. No. I just see orders on the wall. And I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we... Well, I, I gotta do, with or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things, still mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you, but you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you can lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Here, put him down. Go on, get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. Cool, oh, cool. Yeah, it is Leeds. It is. The blazes do you think you're doing? And Bloxy, good night. Sorry I didn't say anything. I don't know if you're still watching, probably not, but uh have a good night. Focus on the story, you know, whenever they're talking. Want to know what they're saying. Alright, let's go back to the ranch. Got another mission there. Another one of those. <laughs> oh my goodness. Last time we got... <laughs> Last time we had, we had a guy on the, on the horse of a... Uh, on the back of a horse. With arrows in him. And now it's a whole, uh, whole stagecoach. Very friendly area. done got a mission back here with our son hey, hey boy on, uh fine sir what are you doing 
reading and uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. You do like eating though, right? Cause we gotta find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Eating is good. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Sure. Dogs scare the fish. But... If you'd like him to, I guess. So... You don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. Hey, Doggo. But fishing will be fun. No, let me pet you. Unless you want nothing but beans. Let me pet you, Rufus. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun. I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I... Can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean... Yes. I'd like that. Pretty cool cautious, beans. I, I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. What is this talk, it's man? At your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's 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 life. I, I can't explain it. Okay. What are you gonna be when you're older? I want to travel, see the world. That's a good idea. Then, become a lawyer and, and help people. That's not a lawyer, that's a... Are you laughing at me? No. Never. Just... This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, <laughs> ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case... It's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. All right, let's fish. Uncle Jose he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Yep. <laughs> sure yeah. did. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now, stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. <laughs> He's... He's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now, reel. I got him. <laughs> what do you think? How you feel? I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord.
Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. Ooh, we got a blue gill. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. All right, let's go. Now, where's he got to? Jack! Snake! Snake? Dad! Please, come help! Rufus! Rufus, no! It's a snake! I see. He bit him! Calm no! Down, boy. And Jack, you calm down, too. Come here. Hey, I'm Smurf. What are, do? what are we gonna do, Pa? Get the poison out. We'll spit it out. <laughs> Dad, Rufus, no. Gross. Is it all out? How would I know? I ain't a doctor. Nope. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He'll be okay. Gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Abigail, can I get a hand? What's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him and the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes, sometimes, you just don't know how things are going to turn out. Vet, but, not doctor. But the dog. The dog's going to be fine. Opinions uh, are different on that one. It's okay, son. I think it's a doctor, not a vet. A vet is a veterinarian, or uh, like a veterinarian in a war, in my opinion. <laughs> a veteran, I mean, saying it wrong. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. Well, hopefully the dog lives. Let's go and good in a smurf. Find the people on YouTube right now. Right now we have uh, 30 people watching on YouTube, three on Twitch. So uh 33 total. Hot dog for dinner. <laughs> Tell you what, woman, was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling you out by your ear. Ah, oh, you always was a cold-hearted lizard of a woman. <laughs> but you always was someone willing to live off the efforts of others. It's walk or work, old man. I've got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I've worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston, Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston, do you? Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. <laughs> Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. Someone with furniture, it seems. The Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your mom, Paul, we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. Then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. I could have paid us more. Well, that's about everything. <laughs> Send your pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. Yeah. It's so kind. Finally got sure. some furniture in the house. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? 
It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Nice. Okay, let's go. If you want to discuss something like that, it's best to do that uh, in DMs or something. Maybe not forever, but Discord, Twitter, Instagram, email. We both been working hard. And now we get something to show for it. The ranch, this life. It's so nice, John. I hope it'll only get nicer. All right, we're gonna go. I know what she's waiting for. Come on, Abigail. Get up. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, John. <laughs> yeah, he does leads. What is this game? Never heard of Red Dead Redemption 2? It's a western. Uh, in the uh, 18... 18... 80s or something. 1890s. Yeah, that's this game. No, I mean, good, wholesome fun, like uh, decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some. Yeah, game looks good. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took for starters. Portrait? There's a fella in town takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. <laughs> no, I want a picture of us, me and you. Okay. Okay then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. They'll starve. And that may be good for him too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay then. Portrait it is. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Back it up, back it up. Oh my goodness. Busy in the streets today. Get out of the way, sir. <clears throat> there we go. How many hours have I put into the game? Well, it's a uh, live stream 16, 16 live streams in, each live stream approximately four to five hours. So uh, there you go. That's a whole lot of hours. so courteous I don't know there you go I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute won't take long but I need to get some materials you want to come with me or wait here and after that we can go get our photo taken yeah after that we can get our photo taken Get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of 
funny. <laughs> a different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just, it just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, okay. Our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, <laughs> quite something, but you need a background. A background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls. Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take a take a look. Pick one. Ooh, let's take a look. What do you think? Should have shaved yeah. first. Just pull the yep. there to release the next one. It's a weighted system, you see. Pulleys. Like at the theater. We have quite a number to choose from. How about ah. this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? Let's see what else they got. It's a little bit pixelated. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh... Mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, <laughs> this was your idea, John. It's up to you. Let's go back up to the prairie one. That reminded her of home. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? This one. Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River. But they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy it. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. I thought you were a cowboy, not a poser. Oh, no. I'm a poser. I learn from the best. That is true. That might be the one. You've done this before. Wonderful. So natural, particularly you, sir. Lovely. Hmm. Oh, I like it. I guess we'll just do this one. Excellent. How's this? Perfect. Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. Hittersland. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> What do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> hey, Slan, thanks for subscribing. What shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. 
Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's go. Thank you. It's it's real fine doing normal things. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Get out of there, sir. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. Literally just sketching ladies. She's incredible. It's like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. John Marston. <laughs> Put an arm around her. What are you doing with that arm? I thought you might be cold. John. <laughs> <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. Shh. <laughs> Looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> It. That's pretty funny. She's a piece of work. Really? Shh. Oh my. Is it over? I think so. Come on. Be seeing you. All right. <laughs> We better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? <laughs> In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. They'll think we're borrowing. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. I thought it was John Marston, but now I suspect he's been replaced with an imposter. Don't look at me, look at the sky. The water. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? Sure is. John, you can't tease me like that. Well, you... Will you marry me? Get up. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. Are you serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? 
serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never... I didn't know it mattered to you. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, exactly, Mayday. Nowadays, you can't just do that. <laughs> Definitely not. Hey, let me just uh, steal this yacht. I mean, borrow this yacht for like a minute or two. I'll bring it back, I swear. Hey Melon, you just finished your first playthrough of this game as well? Awesome. Man. This game's so pretty. Go back inside, talk to Abigail again. <clears throat> It was nice having like a, a normal day a date date day so apparently they are already married but i guess not properly as they said he became the greatest apple farmer in the kingdom apple then farmer travel all across europe to eat his remarkable apples but deep inside he missed the dragons almost as much as they gave him nightmares. He and Princess... I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no-good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Uh oh Hey, John. Abigail, Sadie, Charles, I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Micah. But I gotta go now. You coming? No, he's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm... I'm begging you. No! You risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? All this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks that fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than... than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please! <laughs> he does have another choice, but... Let's go kill this son of a bitch, then. 
All right, but I'm looking forward to this. Let's get to Strawberry before he dries out. Let's get Micah. Which one of Micah's boys is it? Cleet. Which one was Cleet? The big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. <laughs> the little bastard with the rat face then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah. And that's what we're doing. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Hell, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant. <laughs> Was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north, Canada, find a woman, start a family if I can. I see how that life. Well, I'd like to try it. Oh, hey, right, John, you've given him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. <laughs> You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here, too. Down South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. Sure do. We're here. Strawberry. Okay, Strawberry. This is it. We leave our horses by the brick. Sure we got a right ammo. Then we find it. Take the other side of the river. I'll stay on this one. If we meet in the middle, we would have covered most of the town. If he's here, we'll get him. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Hey, Clee! Hey, Clee! Bro, he's running. Stop that man! He's wanted for hey. murder. Hey, stop! I'll him off. Stop. Can't escape us, Clee. Ain't no point in trying. Move. Come here, He's running. Huh? He got past. Nice, Sadie. Hello, Clee. Remember us? Joe, you gonna take a turn? Hey, 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 we're all buddies, ain't we? Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Now, where's Micah? Where is he? I ain't seen him. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, lay into him. You little... Where is he? Hey, 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 hey. Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. And you know what? I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. Boy, good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. I don't know nothing. Come on. John, bring him here. Damn you. Here we go. Move. Listen to me. No, you heard no, the lady. No. Get up there. Come here, you bastard. Move it. Come on, move. I want you stood right here. Stand. All right, string the no good murdering bastard up. 
Bring him up there. I'm sure we could talk reasonable. Put it around his neck. Let's try this again. Uh, Where's Mike? Uh, 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 Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me. Where's Micah? Talk, or I'll pull this lever. Talk. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. He, he's up in the mountains. I think he's, he's up in Mount Hagen. He got a whole gang there. Bad man, doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please, I'm, I'm one of the good guys. Hang him. No, no. There ain't no need. Spare him. Do it, Sadie. Not like this. Thank you. Thank you, John. No, 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 no. Come on now. You won't ever see me again. I said hang him. <sighs> As you wish. Oh, piece. piece of shit. Well Let's move on. Well. Come on. A little rat said Mount Hagen. That was uh, to be expected. <laughs> Hello, girl. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Naka? Yeehaw. Now, I will definitely shoot Micah if I get a chance. That bastard's gotta go. Didn't think this guy had to die, though. Shot at. Oh, what? A horse died. Well, who cares? I mean, <laughs> we already. This path will take us up into the high mountains. Lead the way. There's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp. I've hit him a million times. I guess we're not supposed to shoot him. Gotta get closer, like Sadie says, apparently. Ah, jeez. It won't let me... It wouldn't let me move properly. Okay, 
But now we can kill a sniper. There you go. Hey, you're okay. Doing okay, Charles? You're okay. I will be. Go on. Go on now. Move fast. Hey. Look on down that hill and kill us all. Come on, John. I don't want to leave him. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just. I just can't move fast. Okay. Come on, John. Shit. All right, time to go. It's now or never. Get my health up. Well, that's a lot of snow. We gotta go all the way up. Sadie, no! Oh, shit. Oh. You all right? No, Sadie. You don't look too fine. Come on. You're bleeding pretty bad. Can't keep going like that. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. Uh, I'll be up okay there idiots. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? But I got something to take care of, sure. It's you left, is it? Yeah. Just me. I ain't here for you, just Michael. So get out of my way and make it quick. You ain't getting any further than right here. Uh, I was kind of hoping you'd say that.
All right, let's go. Coming for you, America. If you're here, come out! Hello, Scarface. Did you miss me? There he is. Not much. Been a few years. Sure does, Melon. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. <laughs> Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. I got more men coming, John! More men won't be able to save you. Ah, shit. My God. It's just here. Come take a look. I'm not supposed to do anything there. Come on now, Micah. At least tell like a man. <laughs> Hellfire. It's just like old times. <laughs> Come on. You turn around. <laughs> And start walking. You got me. To shoot him. Just like old times. Hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, 
son. Oh, F you. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now. What were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. Now I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You? You just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go! She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch, killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Marston. Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. <laughs> He shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. I couldn't shoot Dutch. Come on. Rude. Thank you. I, I, what do you mean, thank you? Would you Dutch as well? You okay? I'm Leaving crazy. off to die. I hope so. Help me up. Uh, Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. Blackwater. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. <sighs> oh, shit. There's more than you can carry. Come on, Mrs. Adler. Just a little longer. Come on, Sadie. Don't die on us now. Where's Charles? Jack, Uncle, come out here. Yeah, we're all good. It's over, Abigail. It's all over. <laughs> I'm going to well the Oh god, copyright. All right, there it is. 
Finally, the actual end. Now, I'm going to have to ask you guys, is there actually going to be uh, something after these credits? Oh, it looks like there's some cutscenes in the middle of it. Does there, does there something happen after the credits? Does anyone know? Gonna be enough money for everything. Silver toad boots really good and game. Kerosene, uh -huh. Come and lay by my side. Should have played it uh, right earlier. Red, I love you in the world. Hey, there's the oh, wedding. Buzzing, thank and the token. I can't stay no more. Come and lay by my side right here. Red, I need you in the world. When I see you behind the glass, I forget that I'm in the cage. They bring me to Sunday Mass, but it never wipes the rage. Red, I love you in the world. You've been lurking, Mark. Seven months gone cool, cool. And seven years. You miss Arthur? Yeah. Yeah, no I'm sad that he, uh, he had to die. Side, right here. Red, I love you in the world. Sad moment. Red, I need you but I like how they did the John part. That was pretty good. Ah, this one again. Only game you've cried so far. Cried four for so far. There's a lot of games where uh, where I'm almost there. I mean, I cry almost every time I see a windmill in a game. So yeah, quite a few games have uh, almost had me cry. For sure. That's the place. Final place. What are we doing there? Oh, the Pinkertons. So, this game is before Red Dead Redemption 2. Or uh, before the, the first one, I mean. Prequel. Might have to play uh, the first one then. It's probably gonna be less graphically... Um, you know, it, it's gonna be slightly less better looking graphically wise. Because it's probably like five years before this one or something but I'm sure it still looks good because this one looked amazing to be honest which plays a part in the first one which is why you couldn't shoot him here 
That's too bad. I really tried. You guys could see that. <laughs> After shooting Mike in the face, I immediately went to touch. <laughs> but I couldn't, unfortunately. Bye, Charles. Oh. Chicken skin all over now. After that, uh... After that last cutscene. And the music ending. Yeah, is it gonna be any more cutscenes? Probably. Man, good game. I really should have played this one earlier. I always heard a lot of people talking about it, but... The, the most people that I heard talking about it, they talked about the online experience. And I never really talked about the story. And I personally enjoy just playing the story in games a lot more. I always enjoy that a whole lot more than online. Online usually is just shooting other players and that's it. You know, messing with them. Or working together, I suppose, is also an option in some games. But for that, you need to have a partner in crime. Uh, with which you can play the whole time. And during live streaming, that can be a little bit difficult. Because different time zones and all that. So I usually enjoy the playing the story a whole lot more than anything else. See the fire in your eyes. See the fire in your eyes. Wait, who's this? Sadie? See the fire in your eyes. Who was that? Was that Sadie? Was it someone else? It didn't really look like Sadie, but maybe it was the angle. Past wife of offer, maybe? The ex wife? No, oh, stream was laggy a little bit. We could run into a couple of other gang members as John. Make some of these scenes make more sense. You mean in the next game, you mean? Run into a couple of other gang members in the next game? Or like in this game playing as John, you mean? I never ran into them. I mean, I didn't really do a lot of exploring as John, I guess. I didn't do a lot of side stuff because none of the missions brought me to other towns, really. During the epilogue? Uh. I felt like the missions should have brought you closer to them then. There's a lot of hidden stuff, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there is. I probably haven't even found half of the stuff. I mean, I haven't even encountered a panther in this game. <laughs> I haven't even found a panther in this game yet. We've been playing for 16 live streams. Every live stream, four hours or more. And we haven't had a single panther attack us. We even went looking for it for one live stream. One live stream we kind of dedicated to looking for different animals, for the cougar and the panther. But we didn't find it back then. At least we finally found the, the, the cougar at some point, but no panthers.
You think you think Panthers are only in the Caribbean island, maybe? No, no. I know I know they're on the main island. I know they're in America. I know you're supposed to be able to find them there. This is what people in chat kept but they kept telling me. And I saw it online as well. I looked it up later. You should be able to find them pretty much anywhere at random, I guess. But there were specific parts of the map where you would encounter them more often. And we went there a few times to those parts where they're supposed to pop up more often, but never saw one. <laughs> Lots of cougars in the bar saying the knee. That's true. That's what I kept telling uh, myself as well during the streams is... You know, whenever I need a cougar pelt, just hop on, hop to the nearest bar. Easy enough. I like it to do in the cutscenes. It's a lot better than all the other uh, credits for games that don't have that kind of stuff. Otherwise, just kind of boring. It's frowned upon if you take those cougars out. Oh well. Too bad. The music and the ambient music in this game is top tier. Really sets the mood, yeah. I, I just wish there was a separate audio slider for voices. Because a lot of people kept telling me as well that the voice uh, audio was uh, was way too low. And I agree, like, a lot of the times I had a, I had a quite difficult, I had a difficult time understanding what they were saying. That's why we have the subtitles. That's why I always have subtitles in games, just because I want to make sure that we can follow it. Oh, that was uh, Pearson. The kitchen dude. The butcher. Yeah. I increased the audio on my PC a little bit and then I turned it down on my headset with this one, right? But uh, couldn't really do much else about it. Otherwise, all the other music, all the other sounds would be too loud anyway. Or, uh, yeah. A moment of silence for windmill, tulip, and stroopwaffle. That's right. Rest in peace in the chat for our faithful horses in the game who have perished serving me so well. Windmill, tulip, and stroopwaffle. They are gone but never forgotten. Pearson is in the general store in Rhodes. You want to go talk to him? Oh, really? Cool. So I guess you can just find him in random places in the world. None of them got out of America. None of them went further east, further west. To another country. Seems like it anyway. find the graves of the ones that died too including offers yeah I heard you can find offers but I kind of wish the story would have brought me to that 
the epilogue. I feel like the story should have brought me to that point. Is it on top of that mountain? The mountain he died at? Bye, Sadie. Yeah, for sure. It would be nice if there was a mission. Like, I can... I can... Um, I can imagine there being a mission of John going to the grave of Arthur uh, before asking... Uh, asking Abigail to, to remarry, I guess. You know, just... Having, a, having like a beer in hand or something, sitting at the grave talking about Abigail wanting to remarry her or something and talking about what happened uh, like throughout the game that kind of stuff I think a mission like that would have really fit in well just before having that uh, that date day I guess would have been cool and visiting also all the other graves maybe not just office but Or at least a side mission. At least it should have given us an automatic side mission or something. No. Stream's having some trouble again. Every now and then. Alright, how long is this credits? Oh, there's Arthur Morgan. Hopefully it's not a credit of 45 minutes, like God of War. <laughs> God of War credits was crazy. It was more than 45 minutes even. Don't think it's much longer. an eternity yeah it feels like that thirty six minutes Oh yeah, 36 minutes, approximately. That's a long ass time. Well, I will keep the stream going because uh, obviously I want to sort of show off everybody that worked on the game out of respect I guess 
and they did a great job at it. But uh, I'll turn off my mic, put my uh, webcam away. I'll keep watching, but I have to go to the bathroom and stuff like that. Gotta eat something. So I'll keep the stream running. Keep chatting to each other in chat, I would say. Thank you guys all already for uh, for watching on both Twitch and YouTube combined. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the support. Uh, I do not know if I'm going to do open world stuff on the game. Maybe. Uh, I mean, you guys keep telling me that there's a ton of stuff to do. But I don't really know where to look. Like, if I'm walking around the open world, I don't feel like there's much more left. Like, I don't see side missions pop up. I mean, sure, there's like the random events, like... Help a guy out with a with a snake bite and help someone out who got a bear trap on his leg and stuff like that, you know. Uh, but I don't feel like there's much else other than the, the random events like that. But if you guys want to see uh, like an open world, just roaming around, catching legendary animals and stuff like that, then, uh, you know, let me know. I will do a poll on YouTube later. Uh, I'll probably do it tomorrow. I'll put a poll on the YouTube community section of my channel. Where or, uh, well, where I will ask about that. If you would like to see a stream like that. So uh, definitely check that out. If you haven't used YouTube community post section before. Uh, definitely check it out. I always um, post there as well. When I'm live stream, or I try to do it always when I'm live stream, but I don't always do it. Forget it often. Uh, but especially for videos or live streams that I will really want people to watch, I will uh, post there or I do a poll asking the uh, important questions in life, like do you like pizza, yes or no? Or pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Stuff like that. The, the important things in life, you know? Questions like that. Or about gaming, of course. Like, would you rather play a survival? Or a horror? Or, you know... Game-related stuff. So check that out, for sure. You like pizza? Good. Of course, everybody does. <laughs> Damon, Bradley, Mark, Farisha, Daniel, Craftjoy, Melon, Mayday... Who else do we have in chat right now? Solar Demos, uh, Cyclone, Slant, Doughboy, if you're still here, everybody else, Purple Goff Boy, everybody who has watched today and uh, throughout all the other streams, of course. Thanks so much for the support. As I said, I'm gonna go take a bathroom break. I'll keep the stream running. And, uh,. When the credits is over, I will uh, do another little outro, but uh, that's it. Thanks for being here, everybody.
John Marson. Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money. I, uh... I don't want to talk about that money. No more that... It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own and raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home. There we go, now not. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize I was muted. I thought I turned that off. Alright, well. Thank you guys all for being here. We have $21,000 in the bank in the game now. That's awesome. <laughs> That's really cool. We got plenty of money from... Um, I guess that was from the Blackwater heists or whatever that we lost in the beginning. Or that, uh, well, we lost before we even began the story, pretty much. Family dinner is now available. Wow, awesome. <laughs> but that's going to be it. Once again, thank you guys all so much for being here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I opened up a poll... What I talked about earlier, I opened up a poll on the YouTube channel, on my channel, uh, on the community posts. If you would like to see me play Red Dead Redemption 1. So go over there to the community posts if you haven't. And um, let me know if you would like to see me play the first one. Yes or no. Thanks for being here everybody. Have a wonderful day, have a wonderful night. And I'll see you all tomorrow again. Or... Uh, Probably a different game, but uh, we'll probably play Red Dead Redemption 2 again in the future. Either, either free roaming with this save file, or we'll, uh, we'll play a whole new playthrough. And maybe instead of being honorable, as we have been now, we have been decently honorable with Arthur and also with John. We'll maybe take the uh, less honorable approach we'll see thanks for being here wonderful day wonderful night until next time